Yo, and we are back at Fly Girl T headquarters. We have one of the illest and tallest DJs in the nation right now. <laughs> he goes by the name of DJ Eccentric. How you been, man? Good, it's been bro. a while since we had you on the podcast. Welcome back. Huh? Welcome, Thank you. Back. Thank Welcome you. back. How long was that? That was the episode two years, 70s, bro. in two the years. 70s. Yeah. In the 70s. No, it's like it's years Back in stuff. the 70s. <laughs> back in the 70s. Back in, the mo- back in my day, we were interviewing <laughs> back DJ Eccentric. <laughs> back in my day. Podcasting ain't what it used to be. We, once we had DJ Eccentric, he changed the game. Wait, did I? <laughs> this would be the third time? I think I've been on twice. Well, you, was it yeah. twice? You were yeah. there for the 100th episode. You were yeah. there for the 100th episode. You were DJing there uh, yeah. Yeah. in the background. So technically, this is probably your third appearance. Yeah, mm, I've lost track already. Mm. But you, we Dang. know you as a like a, a day one of fan. So yeah. yes. we treat you with like the utmost respect. You oh, are. Thank you. you know, because before you, were, you didn't, right? You, uh, yeah, before I did. Before she <laughs> before she <laughs> before she <laughs> it. We respect like, you. You're this tall motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All this Asian shit and stuff. You ain't, you ain't Asian. Look how tall you are. You ain't Asian. Yeah. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> so how you been? You've done a lot with like ever since the last time we talked to you, man. Yeah, you did yeah. this whole night now because like with the COVID thing and now like what, what? Explain to the audience what what um you started during the whole pandemic. Well, um yeah, being a full time DJ, I couldn't DJ. All the mm. events have been pushed back or postponed, yeah. mm. cancelled, or you know whatnot. So um, DJing pretty much didn't exist. Yeah. Uh, only a few weeks ago, the clubs opened again. Yeah, but operating was kind of like a um, like a lounge restaurant kind of. Yeah, because they have to book to get in, right? Yeah, you have to book to get in. You can't dance. You have to sit oh. down. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's hard. It's hard. Even in weddings oh, now, oh. the wedding stuff was all gone, yep. and now there's weddings where you can't dance, or else the wedding's off or something. And they actually say no mingling at the at the weddings. Yeah, mm, so that means crazy. like no no like. What does mingling? What does mingling mean in, uh, by definition? Like, does it mean don't like me? don't talk to anyone or don't gather in a group? In a group in the corner? No eye contact. No eye contact. Yeah. Don't look at me. No. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> don't, don't, look at don't break don't eye anything. contact. <laughs> yeah. Don't break eye contact. Depends, so right? don't break all the, the eye contact, contact has been broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many inside jokes. Sorry. But <laughs> sorry, sorry, bro. But um, yeah. So like, when this all happened, mm. like, like, what what really? got in your head like oh man how did what you the feel, fuck am I gonna do how did you feel when this this COVID stuff landed like what was uh, well, you what was your first up? experience of it really in, in like February and March um, well when I first heard the news man I was upset yeah I was like what the fuck am I gonna can we swear yeah man you've been fuck here yeah. for three times <laughs> <right>? yes <laughs> I didn't fuck shit bitch <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah um, yeah I was like what, what the fuck am I gonna do for until this finishes, because yeah. I'm out of work. I, it's like you just lost your job out of yeah. your control. Yeah. So uh-huh. um, this was before they introduced the job keeper, job seeker, and all that stuff. Mm. So that's all in place, and that's all good. So we can still get by. Um, wait, where was it going? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> it's all that chicken that we had, man. Oh man, this. that chicken! I ate too much. <laughs> hey, that's DJ Eccentric. Thanks for joining us today, bro. Okay, <laughs> next guest. <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> lost track. No, nah, it's all good. It's all good. You were talking about how you nah, felt no, when, joking, when, like, bro, when you got the news about COVID nineteen. Just joking, bro. <laughs> Nats is kicking me out. Yeah. No, it's really upsetting because that's my livelihood. Hundred percent. Events, entertainment. Absolutely. So. Um, Sorry, bro. You yeah, can man. Go. I can go now. <laughs> <laughs> I got him, bro. I got him up. I fucked him up. I fucked him up. Oh, bro. Right. Right. You need a charger over there, mate. I need a charger so, <laughs> before we cut nuts off instead. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, retaliation. <laughs> oh, I don't have a charger. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Am I, gonna be, am I out? No, am no, I the no, weakest no. link? No, no. You're good, you're should good. I say. Sure oh, it's, it's dying. Oh, it's cutting out. Oh, it's 0%. Sorry, Nats. Uh, <laughs> Join us next week for the next episode of The Cheat Code. <laughs> <laughs> this is, so like, I think I think this is a really cool. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Because we, we wanted to do more live, uh, you know, podcasting. Because um, uh, the Godzilla podcast with Lee Monroe, they, they, do, their, they do their podcast live. Um, that's something that we actually talked about. Uh, prior to jumping onto this this recording, um, 
And this is, a, I guess, a kind of a good way to to dip our toes into doing live, like you know, podcasting because all of this stuff is gonna stay in the edit, right, Raf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just throwing the mic. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, man, and it would so make it easy too, because you know, I'm online and shit. Yeah, for sure. It makes it easier and shit. Um, but oh, yeah, man, yeah. you you were saying, um, Armin, that you got upset about it. Oh, absolutely, thing because you lost your livelihood that's your entire business it's events right yeah 100 percent. um and then what what was it what happened after that like what you did you have to cancel did you get lots of cancellations what to take us through what happened yeah so it was a very stressful process afterwards because all of the booked clients they've all contacted me saying hey what can we do yeah you know so i i, I was it was a lot of work to um you know help them and rearrange dates and stuff mm. um Thankfully, we've got contracts and everything in place, so everything was all good. So they rescheduled, it's all good, and everything, everyone's covered. You know, no one owes anyone money or whatnot. Mm -hmm. it's all, yeah, so, yeah, it was all good. So you managed, yeah, you managed to, like, sort it out, and, and but then you guys started doing online, like, live streaming. Yes. So did that happen straight away, or did, was that a slow process? Um, it was kind of slow. Um so we were mainly doing it just to, just for ourselves, just to stay fresh. Because mm. if you're not going to DJ for six months, imagine, like, just, you're just say. Get, it's kind of like training. You're going to get rusty. Yeah, so we just wanted to stay on top of it and just keep ourselves fresh and, you yeah. know, on the music. Because we don't want it to end and then we come back to the clubs or our gigs and it's like, oh, what do I play? Oh, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? Mm. So just to keep us, mm, yeah, just trying to find the on button and shit. Yeah, just <laughs> learning how to turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just just yeah, still figuring it out. But we'll what get it, there. What what is a record? What what, what? what's the power button? <laughs> <laughs> how do I? How do I? <laughs> yeah, so You're just putting vinyl on like a digital like yeah. <laughs> 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 turntable and shit. Like, oh why shit, doesn't this vinyl it? fit in the CD player? What the? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's been a big uh, a big boom. Not as much here in Australia, I'd have to say. But a big boom in online Stream. live DJ streaming. Mm. Yeah, that's right, Nats. Uh, in America, it's massive. Yeah. Uh, here, Sydney, Melbourne, there's not as many DJs online. Yeah. You know, there's a small group of us, but yeah, it's 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 been really good. So we've been able to grow our network like worldwide. So today I was streaming. We had Hawaii, we had Dubai, we had nice. Dallas. Nice. Um, you, always adapt, you always adapt bro you always find a way to adapt man you know like oh, you every time to, a new brand comes up and I'm just like oh this is fucking sick and then I'll tell you about it and you're like yeah it's mine I'm like oh <laughs> oh okay <laughs> you know you do like fucking everything bro but yeah um, you know with uh, actually no skip it I forgot what I was gonna say I, sorry I was gonna say I was gonna say there was something interesting we were talking about before about um, so obviously you need the technology to do live streaming yes and, yeah. I, and I believe that you did you like did all the research and all that stuff into OD ODS? Uh, OBS. OBS, you want to tell, tell us a yes. little bit about that? So uh, basically, one of my side hustles, one of my many side hustles, hey. Nats knows. Money. Um, <laughs> well, Raf knows too. Everyone knows. Hustle, yeah. So I do some photo video work. Mm. So I've got the equipment already. I've got the lighting. I've got the yeah. backdrops from my photo booths. Mm. I've got the cameras. I've got the lighting and um, all the production gear. So I've just set up a so, little kind of so makeshift good. studio. In my garage. Nice. I love that. And, um, and, it, and it works. It looks good. Yeah. That fucking thing that you discovered with the app, the OBS app, and you can use your iPhone as a webcam. Yep. That's like a game changer, man. Because you know the, the Logitech. I'm using a Logitech, yeah? The C920. Yeah. I bought it for... Uh, it was about $50 AU converted. Um, and this was before Christmas. Now that the pandemic's happened, I've gone back online. And the things... Um, it's like 100 Almost 200 pounds. That's yeah, like 400 geez. AU. The markup is insane. I'm, it up because it's I'm like, ah. in demand. Yeah. yeah. Because in, mm. yeah. in demand, right? But like, Almond's hack here, you can use any fucking phone <laughs> and then it like, you, you connect it by a cable and then it's a webcam. And these have like, better cameras, epic, right? Better cameras than the webcams. That's like, uh, anyway. So what for is, our what listeners is, out there. For, for, yeah, for our listeners out there, what does OBS stand for? Like, can uh, you tell us a little bit about the technology? It's uh, open broadcasting software. So there's a few apps out there. There's all OBS, there's Streamlabs, there's OBS Studio, OBS Live. Yeah. Uh, basically, you can put your stream together mm. with overlays and different scenes and stuff. Yeah. So you know, can make it all look look all nice. That's mine. And I think you yeah. offer as well like tutorials for people that if they need 
if, if they need to know how to set that up, right? Yeah, well, I've got, I've, we've started building some sort of like a DJ community, DJ forum support group, Yeah, uh, which is where Nats saw the video somehow. I don't know how. Yeah, man. Yeah. DJ Nats and I just Jordan. stalks you, bro. DJ That's Nats. I, I stalk you, bro. I follow you all the time. <laughs> yeah, so 24 I'm hours. I got notifications right on right everything now. you got. Undercover. Everything. It's undercover, Nats. Nats. <laughs> you know that. Um, yeah, so I've got a little community of DJs we're trying to build up. Mm. Uh, basically, it's a support group just to help each other. Um, especially in this time. Yeah, especially at this time. So everyone's trying to jump on and stream. Mm. Some people don't know the first thing. Like, what do I need? I need this cable. I, how, do I, how can I make myself look better on camera, on camera and whatnot? Yeah. So it's just offering what I know to the other guys out there. You know? I love that, man. That's, yeah. that's freaking mad. So it's just all about bringing, bringing the DJ community up. You know? yeah. mm, where can I find really this, um, this community board? Um, it's on Facebook. It's called The Q Point with a mm. Q. Um, Wearing it the shirt as well. Yeah. Jump hey. on, the Q Point. Hey. So uh, nice. basically the Q Point is... You know the start of a song. That's where you set the cue point. Yeah. It's the start of something big. So nice. That, that's the, nice. That's the uh, meaning behind that. Did so you did you write that or just make up that just now? I just made it up just now. Nice. <laughs> no, it didn't. Shut up. I had, I had it written down. But um, yeah, no. It's, the the idea behind it is just to lift everyone up. Like I'm not saying Love I'm the it. best DJ yeah. out there, hey, but, but is- helping everyone be the best that they can be, and Love me it. offloading what I know or however I can help. Yeah. Like the guys uh, they were setting up earlier and the software wasn't working, Serato wasn't connecting. They called me like, Arm and hey, like, how does this work? And then I was driving <laughs> without my GPS because, yeah. man, this place is far, eh? This, is, <laughs> this isn't no Mount Druid, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. You don't have to say the location. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's just far. T headquarters. It's, it's T headquarters. It's far from everything else. It's far. <laughs> In it's whoop whoop. Rural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in rural areas. Rural Australia. Yeah, so, yeah, I just want to be there man. for all the other DJs and help them, you know, get their foot in as well. Are yeah, you like you know, the IT of um, DJing? Yeah. Everyone just calls you. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's not working. D- well, that's DJ what, support. That's what DJ Laces said. She's like, when I knocked on the door to come in, it's like, oh, the, the DJ technician's in. <laughs> because they were setting up OBS, ready to go live. I, I think I rocked it. up at like... 658 like, they, oh, you, see. You, you call you call up Armin and he's like have you tried turning it off and on again <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you sir can I start with your account number <laughs> does that sound familiar guys <laughs> I love it I like it man that's I think that's amazing man like you're, you're the, the fact that you've not only pivoted in your industry but you've also managed to create something more for like you know the, the, the people in your industry for, for DJs and that that's that's amazing, yeah. Just just what well, like I'm pretty experienced. I, I I've got my head around a lot of things in the industry in the scene. Mm. So just want to share my knowledge and my fuck ups so they know oh. not to fuck up the, the way I did or yeah. you know just to help them. You know, hey, one step a, ahead. I got a question, bro. Yeah, bro. Like I realize it's re- it's really cool because um because bef- before but pen- pre pandemic styles. You're like you're like the humble DJ. You're like you're you're like you know you're you're, the, you're in the DJ booth, banging out tunes, and you always get a, an MC to do your stuff. You know, like you you're usually not the guy that wants to be at the forefront of things, even with your brands. That's why it's always like, oh, is that yours? And you never really show. Sure. But the pandemic, there's been a shift. Like, what was really cool, I thought I've noticed that you start like you even start to MC your own sets and shit on yeah, the stream. Man. Oh, taking man, requests man. I'm like dude this is fucking good and even more so like even with the YouTube videos you're getting your face in front of the camera you're the, you're using more like you know getting people are getting to know you for you would you say like this pandemic has sort of pushed you in that direction more like made you more confident and just be like fuck it I'm just gonna do it man. like this now cause it's fucking good bro Thank I you, love bro. seeing you bro <laughs> Thank you, and bro. hearing you bro I'm telling you 300% <laughs> like um, streaming and talking on the mic has kind of boosted my confidence. I can tell because yeah, last bro. episode, you can tell. For when, Mr. When, introvert like, yeah. guy, yeah, you were super introverted, yeah, and you're like, I, I remember before the interview, I'm nervous, like, man. man, I'm so nervous to do this podcast, but now you just popped on, you're like, yeah, cracking jokes and shit, and I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, yeah, I'll man, give it up for Armin, right? I'll give it up for Armin. Yeah, give it up. Where the claps at? Where the claps at? Thanks, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I can see it. Like, um, it was a bit of a growth as well. So on the very first stream, it was me. And um, Day Day, DJ Day Day, shout hey, out to Day Day. Shout out to Dale. Um, 
So we were in my garage. I had no backdrops. I had no lighting. Just the garage light was on. You could see all the junk in the garage. It didn't look good at all. We set up mics. We're like, hey, let's try talk. Hey, hey, Dede. Uh, how are you today? Cool. Hey, uh, we're going to play this song next. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. And honestly, that's how it was. It was. And then as the streams went on, just I felt more comfortable, it. a bit more confident. Yeah. And um, hey, yeah, yeah. you're just used to hearing yourself. DJ centric. Well. And now you're like, DJ centric bitch. Yeah, well, that's me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tallest motherfucker in the game, motherfucker. <laughs> not quite, not quite. Bro, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm working on that. We're getting there, we're getting there. Just get sound bites of rap for yeah. <laughs> Can you send me that? <laughs> it's recorded, it's all good. Oh, oh God. So like, DJ good. in the game, motherfucker. <laughs> so, like, like. I don't know. What's the future of your confidence? Is it just going to keep growing? Do you feel like you're growing as a person ever since you started you, this whole thing? Are you going to start know. emceeing more? Uh, live. Ooh, like it's only emceeing, no DJing. Okay, yeah. on the low, I've always wanted to MC. A hey. um, bro. In terms of like weddings. Mm. Um, well, people and just, people yeah. will be able to see you in a crowd, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Because a lot of the like the Americans, they <laughs> doesn't even need to go on stage, you know, just stands up. <laughs> Not even stand up. <laughs> like a lot of the American wedding DJs, they're MCs. <laughs> Everyone's gonna start like, oh shit! I mean, <laughs> everyone's neck's gonna start breaking and shit. Like, oh, Obviously, fuck, God. fuck yeah. it's Armin. Damn it, it's fucking Armin. <laughs> Ah, fuck. <laughs> Everyone's on stage, literally on stage on a higher level. You're on the ground. <laughs> so sorry, sorry oh, man. man. We, we, cut, we cut you off with a joke. Sorry, but <laughs> sorry. sorry, bro. I think um, we're just too familiar. Like, we're, we're family. That's why I can't family, help with bro. the jokes, man. And we I, just yeah. laugh. And I think I think this also, this vibe right now, it, like, it's feel, it feels very, very casual and feel, feels very, like, just comfortable right now. Yeah, man. Um, Are yeah. you going to start your own podcast? Um, do it. I think you were saying something similar, right? I did mention mm. to you earlier outside, maybe because um, so we do these streams. They're Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday nights, and we do random pop up streams. Where can they find um, it? Like on Twitch, the Q point as well. Mm. We just hit three hundred followers hey. yesterday. Oh, wait, hey, that's a achievement. Twitch is very hard to grow, man. Yeah, very so, hard. Uh, I, uh, I'll have to say a lot of it is overseas as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, too much explosion. Uh, like, like I was saying earlier, uh, the Australian Twitch streaming scene is very small. Yeah. But um, I'd say probably more than fifty percent are from all over the world, mm. outside of Australia. Um, um, the people 100%. watching you. you yeah. Mean. So yeah. every time we stream, it's like regulars from the states, uh, San Diego, Chicago, New Jersey. Um, it works. I like it, man. Like, like, do you look at the chat box? I'm, I've noticed like you got all these people in the chat box. Mm-hmm. Do you see people trying to? Pick up on the chat box, kind of like a club. We see it, yeah. yeah, yeah it, it happens. Yeah, it nice. happens. It happens on the low, but I could see, I could sense it. Yeah, so like DMs, that's, bro. Oh, that's mad. I'm gonna start attending these live streams and just to like, <laughs> yeah. 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 This is new Tinder. It's like, yeah. oh shit, you can actually pick up and <laughs> at the key point. No, definitely. Do you, yeah. come, do you come here shirtless often? in his camera? So uh, yeah, he has no like, shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> everyone else is dressed up. Don's just like, <laughs> yeah. Flexing those muscles. Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm just at the my, right now. So my, my brother, my brother's a DJ as well, DJ Kendrick. Shout outs. What up, Kendrick? Uh, um, and hey. he, he he had me on on his um live streams one time. I saw that. And then he was like, he was like, "Hey, take your shirt off." And I'm like, oh, "What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta pay for that." <laughs> oh, the fuck? Did, no, I'm you, not gonna do that. You did that. it though, didn't you? You did it though. Didn't I did you? not. I did not. I'm not. I'm not beach ready. I'm not beach ready. <laughs> <laughs> he did that on his oh, OnlyFans. Knocks them up. Yeah, he he knocks was on my OnlyFans. So OnlyFans.com forward slash doing stuff. No, <laughs> Join me at the cute point. The cute, the point, cute huh? point. The cute point. <laughs> With a C. And so the question is, um, yeah, so you, you were thinking about doing a podcast yourself because you're already doing Q&As in your live streams, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we had DJ Curious. He was, I think, one of our first guests. Shout outs. And hey. we said, hey, let's try to do a Q&A. This is us still like in the very early stages of streaming. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, let's chat for five, ten minutes and then we'll, we'll uh, end up there. So we was like, oh, yeah, how did you start DJing? And before we knew it, it was about an hour and a half in. 
And we're like, shit, man. It's <laughs> like, Welcome it's, to the podcast world, bro. You know, <laughs> bro, hey, I like, mean, you know, that's actually a really fucking good idea, man. Because you know what? Like, we've, we've interviewed DJs, yeah? But you, you're in that world, man. Like, you can actually, you know what to ask. And you've got real relation. Not real, but you know, you've got you history with a lot of these it. guys. Yeah. I don't think anyone's doing that right now. Like, a purely niche DJ-only podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You can go it's a fucking out, go good idea. DJ I, stuff. I, I would watch that because mm. I know that, like, I know you're a DJ and the people you're going to get on. And usually DJs aren't the ones with the, the voice. It's usually the rappers, the musicians. Mm, and remember sure. that thing? We had you and D-Cuts, I think. that's That was the other episode. Was it with D-Cuts? You were together? No, no, no. Or was it just D-Cuts? It was just, no, no, it was just D-Cuts, yeah. Oh, it was just D-Cuts. Okay, well, we'll We've speak to D-Cuts. We've done so many we'll, blurring into we're, one we're, for Nats. Uh, yeah, fucked up. But like, like, look, like w- when we spoke to D-Cuts, getting all this like inside look of, of the industry, it's like a glimpse for us. Mm. But more so for you, if like you had a chat with like even your, the one and only guys, I'd be like, that's a fucking sick podcast, man. Yeah. yeah. That's good, bro. Yeah, mm. no, anyway. definitely, we definitely. You can call it the Q&A point. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, I might have to take that. Oh, take that on. Yeah. I'll, I'll write that down. Raffle will send the invoice later. Yeah, we'll yeah. write that down. <laughs> but and that blows up. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, like, but being in the scene as a relatively new DJ, um, there's a lot of OGs out there. We've mm. got DJ Motto in the house. Mm. Shout uh, out. He'll be coming on soon. But um, uh, people like him, you want to know their story? Like back then, yeah. all the DJs we've had. Like, who did you look up to? DJ Motto. Motto. DJ Motto. DJ Motto. Yeah. I don't know who DJ Motto looked up to. Do you know what I mean? Like, which is kind of yeah. Where does it all? Bro, where does club, it go? Club joint two point by the way. Club joint two point <laughs> Yeah, man, all of them. Oh, so, um, so, just learning everyone's stories, like how you came to get where you are now. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. You, Do you know how Moda, who Moda looked up to? You? Don't tell us though. But do you know? I just I want to leave it I, a mystery. I, I don't know personally. I have an idea. Maybe we should ask him. DJ X. Oh, damn son. Okay, uh, uh, we're gonna ask him first, bro. We're gonna uh, like uh, undercut your your we, podcast. We're gonna we're gonna uh, ask him uh, first. Yeah, 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 Moda. Do they want to ask him? He's busy, he's busy right now. He's eating chicken. He's eating KFC. Sorry, guys. There's so much KFC here. It's awesome. Hot and spicy, bro. Uh, yeah, man. Anyway. Oh. We're not sponsored by KFC. <laughs> sponsored by Road, though. Hey. hey. Everything, even cross, Nats. Yeah. Cross. Nats. Great sponsorship. We had to pay full price. You even got the boom <laughs> arm and all. Yeah. Got, yeah that's bro. the Road boom arm, right? Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah, that's like it costs like million dollars. as much as the mic. <laughs> it, it, it literally does. <laughs> it's so stupid. I don't that's get fucked it. Up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Hey, bro, it's an this shit's solid. If there's a fucking nuclear bomb, my mic stand's gonna last. <laughs> I won't, but the stand will. But the podcast will. <laughs> 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 and you'll hear it first here oh. on the Cheat Coders. <laughs> so you guys are going to go into podcasting with the Q point, um, just to clarify. You know, it's a lot of commitment because we always already do two nights a week. Yeah. Um, so we start at seven or eight o'clock and we'll just go till midnight. Dang. Um, you know, that's two nights and then doing another night. I don't know. Like, mm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have one question. Do you think the future is going to involve just everyone in a club and the DJ is literally on a screen, just streaming somewhere from somewhere else. You know what's so funny? Because we've been doing all this streaming, I actually asked the guys at the Carter last night because I had a gig. Yeah. I was like, "Can hey, you stream me? <laughs> can, can I just stream from home <laughs> and you play my feed at the club?" Obviously, they didn't answer me. <laughs> a stupid question. Hey, but I had to ask. You never know, man. Hey, that you know the what? Future. They want a hologram it, of you. That's I, I see I mean, it happening, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think the aspect of having a Proper Person. DJ there, the, yeah. you know, vibing off them and whatnot. Yeah. It'd be quite experience. funny to see a DJ who point, you know, the DJ that points a lot on screen, just pointing at <laughs> I nothing. Mean, I mean, that's, yeah, <laughs> I see some, you girl. some DJs do that. So, that they, yeah. <laughs> it would be funny that yeah. I, I want to see if there are any clubs out there. Shut, like, you know, comment us, you know, get back to us, email us on thecheatcoders at gmail.com hey, if yo. you know of any venues that have been trying to do that. Have been live streaming like DJ sets. Just, just taking any random DJs? Just taking any random DJs and live streaming? Yeah, streaming because it? there's a lot, lot of live stream DJs going on. You can, Are people yeah. doing that? Like I clubs could like coincide at the same time that you do, guys do a DJ and they get a free DJ set. Yeah, that's true. That's on there true. and free entertainment. Well, what, happened, what happens then? Would you be like, oh, that's not good? Or would you be like, oh, I gave it up for free, so it's my fault? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that, that'll be a conversation before when the, like, when it if, happens. It, if it continues mm. to be like this. I can see it happening, though. I can see it happening. Yeah. I'm, mm. not, I'm not saying, no, it's not going to happen. Mm. It could be the future. If streaming online now 
and these virtual clubs. I know it's COVID and lockdown and everything, mm. but it could be the future. It could. Like I can imagine it. Like it people, people like entertainers will just be streaming from their homes and stuff. Like it'd be like OnlyFans, but like for DJs. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay yeah. for a certain it's all DJ. Like DJ. It's a lot of house party. Subscription. Yeah. A lot of house parties. No, mm. it's happening now even. Like um or like, you know, through Facebook, you'll get invites to a, a virtual event and you still have to attend to get the, the special link or whatever. And some are paid. Mm. And I think I think some people might be doing like house parties or whatever it is mm. and then you tune in and you all do like there was like a Tomorrowland party yesterday. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Some shit like are that. You, it's pretty cool, but yeah. Are you gonna open it up It could your be own, the future. Are you gonna open up your own OnlyFans hey. page? Oh, who said I haven't already? Hey. <laughs> OnlyFans the comps. I'm already subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid a month for the, the only one. Pr- the only fan. <laughs> <laughs> the only one fan. <laughs> the only- I've paid the full premium package as oh, well. It's man. pretty. It's pretty good value. Premium package Great for value. a premium package. Hey. Sounds right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> not this. Not awkward at all. <laughs> this, ep- this episode is just called a bad joke. Sorry guys. <laughs> because Sorry. we're so casual, we're so comfortable <laughs> with our guests right now. <laughs> oh man. Hope you, uh, hope you guys at home are listening and enjoying what we're talking about. Yeah. But um, yeah, thanks again to DJ like Eccentric, bro. Thank you for having me. I, I like the first thing I notice is your confidence is built. absolutely so, like Thank you, you're really cr- really comfortable which is you you it's you. the it's the Armin that we know yeah the most yeah. definitely but on on on, on live now so peeps know who yeah. you really are so yeah. props Ben I, I try to keep it real and you know it's a time for growing you know we're not hey. if you're just gonna stay home and do nothing stay in bed and cry you can but hey. if you want to improve yourself and you know, use this time wisely because hey. we have a lot of time. Everyone does. Man, you went from being nervous to being Gary V, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> That's it, bro. <laughs> I That's love that so, shit. So where can they find you, bro? Uh, where can they find me? Um, find us on Twitch. Hey, Everywhere. On Twitch. Twitch.com forward slash. The Q points. Yeah. The Q point that? with the letter Q. Not, not, Q. not C U P O I N T. Yes. Yeah. So it's not always Q. me. Yeah. It's uh, myself, DJ Dede, DJ D Cuts, hey. and a lot of special guests Shout always. Shout out. Maybe you so can get um, oh, the cheat coders, the topless um, DJ on set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll I'll, have to discuss a right. I'll get I'll get on there and I'll um, I'll play purely UK garage music. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. He's just gonna play D'Angelo <laughs> entitled all the way and all night long. Yeah, just the album on repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, just the one song entitled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, anyway, they can find you on Twitch uh, dot com forward slash the Q point and uh, and if anyone can find you personally, your um, socials are DJ eccentric. On you just have IG. to look up. Yeah, DJ Eccentric on IG, on Facebook. Um, I'm there. But um, yeah, we're trying to grow the Q point. So IG, Twitch, Facebook, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, the Q point. Yeah. yeah that's Has nice. it become that's like focus. some sort of crew now? Or is it just more uh, like a movement? More like a, a community. Yeah, that's it. So I'm not like trying it. to say Love crew because I don't want people to feel excluded. Mm. I just want everyone to feel family. Like, hey, man, we're all together. We're in this together, you know. Yeah, mm. we have together. we have yes. this um, new um, morals and the values, the values of, of the, the cheat coders. coders. It's the it's the four C's. Mm. It's um, <laughs> consist- <laughs> it's consistency. <laughs> it's community. It's create freely. And it's call it your job. <laughs> <laughs> What a Filipino, bro. That's such a Filipino. It is, it, it is and a then the, the, last, the last C is a with your dub. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fucking Vito, bro. Thanks once again to DJ Accenture. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah.